you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another haul video like you could like you can tell from the title today's video i'm obviously very very excited of course you can tell from the way i'm talking but um today's video is going to be a collective haul another collective haul i'm combining two hauls i would have easily made this like just a plum anniversary sale haul but right before i placed the plum order during like plum's anniversary sale Chemist that play also happened to have their first anniversary, which was towards the end of June. So I did place an order, which took me actually a while to arrive. I felt like it took a little longer, but it's okay. It was not like super duper long. I think it must have taken a week or so. And normally my orders come to me within a week, like within three four days. That's why it felt like it was a little longer. But um, we have my order right here. Also, by the way, I don't know if you guys knew this. I personally got to know this very recently. That Chemist at Play, Sun Scoop, and Bear Anatomy. These three brands are actually like under the same parent company. So, um, yeah, when I was placing an order on Chemist at Play, that's I found out a little bit before. And their website now is called I think Innovist. dot com. So all the three uh, brands are under this particular. Like parent company, parent website. So when you go on the website, you can purchase Chemist at Play and you can purchase the other two brands as well, which is great. Um, and I'll tell you why. So if you want to buy like one thing from Chemist at Play, one thing from Sun Scoop, and then maybe you want to repurchase your shampoo from Bare Anatomy, all the three um, can be placed together. I'm pretty sure you can get free shipping as well in that case. Um, whereas if you would have bought like from each of them. um you would have to like pay shipping three times basically so that is great as well i just want to quickly mention that in case people did not know because i did not know about this for the longest time anyway ways now let's move on and let's discuss my chemist at play order so um they had i think did they have 50% off yeah they had 50% off um for their anniversary sale and i wanted to pick up four things um i wanted to purchase the um salicylic acid serum you guys know this has been on my wish list for a while and i have used up a lot of the salicylic acid serums that i have in my collection so i was like you know what it is time um and it's the perfect time because i can save 50% on this product so i purchased the 2% salicylic acid plus 1% zinc pca serum this is called their blackhead and sebum control face serum and this is what it looks like by the way i didn't mention this earlier but it's raining outside which is why i have my tube light on in the morning at like 9 am um which is why the lighting is probably a little bit off as well off in the sense that it's too bright so um unfortunately for the next 3 to 4 months we're going to have to deal with that because barish but um uh, yeah uh i got the salicylic acid serum and i also wanted to purchase slash three purchase a product that i have used in the past used up and loved this is the chemist at play exfoliating face serum this is the 10% aha and 1% hyaluronic acid serum so i absolutely love this stuff and i had it like in my mind that i want to repurchase it so i got my second bottle of this one as well it's a great like one and done serum to use at night before you put on your moisturizer if you want a like super simple skin care routine i would highly recommend this particular regime you wash your face double cleanse do whatever you want um then put on the serum as your treatment step and then just a moisturizer and you will be done it's just going to help in retexturizing exfoliating and just maintaining your skin really well and this is a routine that you could follow like for the rest of your life probably and not worry you might probably want to add a retinol later on sometime uh you know depending on how old you are right now but uh, yeah if you want a super su simple skin care routine this one i would highly recommend uh so yeah that was that and then uh chemist at play also came out with moisturizers recently i mean they had moisturizers already but those were more like emulsions and those were in bottles these are in tubs so um we have the oily skin night cream and we have the dry to normal skin night cream now um i mentioned this earlier as well i don't like the fact that they call it a night cream because um a moisturizer is a moisturizer the oily skin night cream has 2% in encapsulated anti aging actives which i wanted to know what exactly they mean by that i will go through the ingredients list and specifically check that out but um yeah i wish they made it a little bit more clear that are they putting like a uh, bakuchol or something or like some sort of retinol that is encapsulated like what is it 
and they also have 0.5 percent salicylic acid so um they have this typical like um stopper wala dhakkan situation i did not actually open it but i'm going to do that for you and um, the cream is completely white so you're actually not going to be able to see anything but i will take a little bit of it on the back of my hand i don't want to waste any product uh and i'm just going to apply it so you can see that it's a nice hydrating moisturizing moisturizer which is what i'm really looking for these days um even though it says that men it's meant for oily skin by the way my nails are chipped so please ignore that uh i didn't do my nails in like over a week so they have obviously um like grown and you can see the cuticles and stuff but um uh, yeah this is the one that is for oily skin um and it's like a gel moisturizer super lightweight um but at the same time it's a moisturizing moisturizer which i love and then they also have the dried on normal skin night cream i don't really like the way the products are labeled i mean i understand the different skin types and stuff kind of thing but the night cream wala part i didn't like um, just call it a moisturizer or a moisturizer is how i feel okay this looks thicker for sure um again same packaging um it's just that the dry or normal skin one is blue uh i mean the dhakkan is blue and uh, this is what the cream looks like again i took a little bit more of this one that just happened accidentally and uh, again you can see this one also blends really 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 well into the skin and it feels really nice and moisturizing i do want to like compare the two and kind of uh, see like which one is um i mean now that the oily skin one is dried i mean i took lesser product but i feel like it dries into a more matte finish um i want to like see how the dried and normal skin one uh, dries up and i also like what i was saying earlier is that let me know if you're interested in me doing like a comparison video on the two and like uh, helping you like decide or figure out which one you should get like how they're different from each other are they different in terms of how moisturizing they are or are they different in terms of the finish on the skin or how you know whatever like i can give you um, a comparison if you would like one so let me know if you would like me to do something like that um so yeah those are the four things that i want to pick up and i would have happily like just checked out and not bought anything else but um because they had this anniversary sale going on they also had like pop up offers so um i got this pop up saying that if you like check out within the next 10 minutes you will get the you can also purchase the sun scoop invisible sunscreen spf 40 for like 50% off or 40% off something like that they had really dropped down the price so i got this at a very good deal and i wanted to purchase the sunscreen any which way is eventually uh so i thought you know what let me get this so i got the invisible sunscreen and um, um uh, another like comparison video i'm excited to do is comparing this with the conscious chemist clear shield um and also comparing both of these to the super group unseen sunscreen that i've also used in the past i'm currently trying and testing on the clear shield and i will say though that it does remind me a lot of the super group in a slightly different way but it does remind me of that and if you would be interested in me doing like a this or that um comparing the invisible sunscreen with the clear shield as well this is spf 40 that is spf 30 but like apart from that in terms of texture the way it feels on the skin the finish and all of that if you want to see a comparison video let me know because i'm definitely planning on doing that so um yeah that was that and then um after i added this to the cart um i also got another pop up offer that told me that i could purchase the chemist at play um hydrating body wash for um, a discounted price as well like a super duper discounted price and um, i was like okay should i get this should i not get this i wasn't actually looking at purchasing this but the offer was great and the thing with me is that sometimes like currently right now i am for some reason not buying as much body wash but i'm going through a lot of body wash so i thought you know what maybe this is good to have like on hand in case i run out of all my body wash and like i'm waiting for an order to come in and i don't have any body wash um maybe i could use this then or maybe this could be a travel size body wash as well because 
I was expecting this to be bigger. Like this is much smaller as compared to the body lotion. For some reason, I didn't think about that. Um, the body lotion is seven no, four seventy three ml, and this is two thirty six ml. So this is like almost half, pretty much. But I had not thought of that. Like when I was purchasing, so when I got it, I'm like. This is kafi chota, and then when I saw the price, uh, not the price, when I saw the size, and then I'm like, take it. That does make sense. Um, so yeah, this could be like a travel size because it's also very thin, and it would be easy to travel with and stuff. Any which ways, I'm talking too much. This would either be used by me, and I'll have it like a, as a backup, or I'll give this to my mom, or both of us might use this as a travel size body wash. We we don't know what we're gonna do, but. Um, I wanted to show you that because I got that as well. So um, yeah, that was all the stuff that I got from Chemist at Play. By the way, I'm just gonna quickly um, shut all of the moisturizers that I have left open, close the dhakkan for sanitary purposes. But um, yeah, I was saying that's all the Chemist at Play stuff that I got. Um, now let's move on to the plum. Uh, anniversary sale haul that I bought again. This was something that I was looking forward to because I was looking forward to buying a lot of body wash A and B. There were also other products that I had my um, eyes on. Talking about eyes, this is like a great segue into talking about the current face that I have going on. So I just have eyeliner. I put a little bit of eyeshadow, lipstick, and then before I started, I had some loose powder on my face. So. The liner and lipstick both are from Plum. The liner is the eyeliner pen that I wanted to get. This is called the Plum Eye Swear by Eyeliner Pen in 01 Black. This is what is what it looks like. And before I sat down to film this particular video, I was filming some clips for you uh, to like see like demo clips, basically first impression slash demo clips. So um, I'm gonna insert those right now. Um, so yeah, um, this particular product I will say though that when I had first watched, I thought it was gonna be more pigmented. Um, I mean, it was super duper pigmented when I like swatched it on my hand. But today when I was actually swatching it and applying applying it on my actual eye, I did notice that I had to go in a couple of times. There were like certain patches which weren't as opaque and stuff. So I filmed the like clips. For camera and then i went and i looked in the mirror and i was like we need some finishing touches to do uh that's when i noticed that um i was having to go in a couple of times so it's not as pigmented as i thought but it's still i would say decent um and i'm gonna continue using and seeing how quickly this dries in the sense that for how long one eyeliner pen is gonna last is it gonna like get over within a month or it's gonna be like super long lasting and last for like three to four months maybe I don't know we'll see that so um yeah so far i'm pretty okay okay on the eyeliner pen but um yeah that is that um it's also got i would say a brush applicator i wouldn't call this like a felt tip applicator um it's definitely more of like a sponge brush kind of an applicator like the nib of the eyeliner so um yeah, that's that's all I have to say about the eyeliner for now. We'll see how this goes. Um, moving on to the liquid lipstick. Now, I was very dicey if I should even purchase this. Um, I was a little bit like, Acha, maybe we should wait a little and maybe I should go to a plum store and swatch them first and then decide which one I want to pick. But then I keep kept seeing like a lot of bloggers also, in fact, swatch the liquid lipsticks and the bullet lipsticks and stuff on their Instagram and um, talk about the offers etc so i was like Acha, maybe i should just give it a try maybe just pick up one shade randomly and see at least get a test of the formulation and if i like the formulation then i can go ahead and um, pick up specific shades that i might really really want to have in my collection so um i ended up going with a shade um, i think this is coco mocha yeah it's coco mocha and this is supposed to be like um even plum themselves also shared this on their instagram that this is like one of the uh most like best selling shades basically that sold out when they had first launched and it's one that's also always constantly sold out i remember even checking on the website before the sale and the shade was sold out but then i think they got the stock back when the sale started which was great um and uh, when i was placing my order this particular shade was in stock so i thought you know what this looks like one of the nudes that i might like uh so i decided to get it but when i got my order in the mail 
I saw that it's more of a brown. It's actually not as nude as I had thought it would be. And that's why like you need to understand that different lipsticks look different on different skin tones. Like you can tell this is definitely a brown. This is two thin layers that I've applied. I applied one thin layer and then I felt like it was a little patchy. It wasn't um even because again when i'm applying the lipstick without using a mirror i'm not able to apply it as evenly but then when i go and when i look in the mirror i'm able to apply it a little bit better so uh yeah this is two thin layers and uh, it's definitely a brown i think if i'm going for a makeup look like this where i'm not doing much on the face i'm just doing liner and lipstick i would like to wear a shade like this but this is not a shade that i would wear every single day i also feel like i need to be a little more dressed up to wear bold shades which is why i'm really happy that i'm wearing this really pretty top that i got from rgu a couple months ago but yeah did i get this from rgu no i got this from mintra i don't remember where i got it from it's it's, it's actually been a couple of months but uh, yeah i'm very happy with the finish per se of this lipstick it dries definitely into a powder matte finish it does not feel drying as of now and i will say though that this kind of reminds me of the sugar um smudge me not liquid lipsticks but those ones were definitely more drying i also had a shade i don't remember the name that was very similar to this shade so i think the finish and the shade both kind of remind me of the sugar smudge me not liquid lipstick but the formulation is definitely different at least as of now i would say it's different throughout the day i might change my mind and i might say that this is as drying as the sugar lipsticks but yeah as of now i'm not sure but i haven't heard this formulation is drying i have heard that it's pretty comfortable so um hoping fingers crossed on that but uh, yeah i feel like i've been talking way too long just about my chemistry play stuff and the plum uh, makeup that i got so it's time to move on and talk about the skin care the bath and body stuff and some really exciting stuff that i have also got from plum so um we have one more makeup product i'll just quickly talk about and this is the plum i swear by brow refiner i already have one that i'm using and i'm currently loving so i just got that I'll, i i just thought that i'll get a backup of this um because again great offers so why not um and then i got a lot of perfumes and a lot of serums uh, let's talk about the perfumes first um so um there was this duo on the plum website in the perfume section where you could get two travel um like size perfumes uh, one was hawaiian rumba and the other was vanilla vibes now i already have the full size bottle of hawaiian rumba that i absolutely love um and because i was getting the duo along with vanilla vibes um i thought you know what let me get this and pick this up you know in case i want to have this with me when i'm traveling and uh, then I got vanilla vibes because again I was planning to get this one any which ways but I was scared to like buy the bullet and buy the full size because what if I don't like it so I thought you know what it makes more sense to get a travel size one uh if I like it then great I can eventually during the winters get a full size and if I don't like it I can still use and somehow use it up but then it's not like a big commitment so um yeah this is what my oh my god i just dropped it and i'm so happy that it did not shatter um this is what my vanilla vibes looks like i didn't actually know that the juice is going to be so dark and purple in color and this is the most intense sugary sweet gourmand vanilla fragrance that you could ever find i'm honestly a little scared to overspray this like I am team over sprayer but this one I'm definitely scared to over spray and I'm going to first wear this on my clothes I'm not going to directly put this on my skin when I do decide to wear it um maybe it's the season maybe it's the fragrance itself I don't know but it's super duper intense and uh, even though I love sweet fragrances this is a little too sweet even for me so um yeah I'm still excited to like wear it and try it out and see which is again why I said you know it's riskier to buy the full size bottle right out of the get go it's always better to get the travel size first and then eventually get the full size if you really like it the third um fragrance that i also got from a plum obviously is the new launch that they have this is everything plum and um they i don't think have a full size they only um uh, introduced the travel spray one but i'm really hoping that they eventually make a full size bottle of this because you guys i I'm freaking loving this particular scent. 
and this is not what I had thought it would be originally let me tell you that uh, when they launched this and when I saw the um, the promotional photos the launch uh, photos videos and all of that stuff I thought that this was gonna be Imari seduction but maybe better that's what I was thinking initially but that's not what this is that is totally totally not what this is when you smell this it reminds me of Miniso Sunrise and the reason why that makes me so 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 happy is because a I freaking love that scent in fact I have a backup bottle of it but um, Miniso doesn't sell those fragrances anymore and they haven't been for a long time so um, I'm just savoring whatever I have but I know that once I use that up I'm not gonna be able to get it anymore so that's why when I discovered this and it's not the exact same scent let me tell you that but it is like the second cousin of Miniso Sunrise they're definitely related and they have the same vibe going on like the same bloodline you know <laughs> but uh, it's a really 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 nice scent I still love Miniso Sunrise more than I love this but I know that again once I'm completely done with that I'm not gonna be able to um, you know have that anymore and the other thing is that I love that scent a lot but I don't wear it as much because I know that whatever I have left is all that I have so um, I feel like I can save that for more like really special occasions but if I want to get that scent every single day on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm going to work um, and I want to like spray a perfume on I will spray this and the reason I'm constantly smelling it because I literally can't stop smelling it you guys I love it so 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 much I'm actually a little disappointed that I didn't end up getting like the body wash and the other products that they have in the range but I'm definitely going to trust me you guys I'm not kidding when I say that I'm gonna buy everything that everything plum has in their range uh, so yeah those are the three perfumes that I wanted to share with you uh, now let's talk about some serums from a plum as well now two of them I already have used and used up and I'm pretty sure I've showed you in my empties as well the mandarin and vitamin C serum from plum and the rice water and niacinamide um, serum from plum as well these two are backups uh, in the sense not backups actually these are repurchases I've used up my bottles that I had already and now it's time to add some more so um, this com this was also like one of those combos duo deals and I got this at like 40% off or 50% off something like that so I was very happy this is gonna be something that I'm just buying a backup of because I got a good offer but I'm gonna save it for the winter and the plum vitamin C I'm definitely gonna start using again this was also something that my best friend loves and surprisingly this is something that I did not recommend to her she got it on her own and if she's watching this I want to tell you how proud I am of you for starting to use a vitamin C I've of course told her that in person as well but I wanted to like shout that out as well because she's not someone who's as much into skincare but she's getting more into it she's more into makeup than she's into skincare but she started using a vitamin C and when I found out that she started using the plum vitamin C I was so so happy because I love this one as well so um, yeah that was that and then um, this was kind of like an impulse buy I did not think much about it but I decided to get the plum bakachol and retinol one person serum as well um, this is one that um, when I initially saw I thought it's gonna be super gentle so I, that's why I didn't want to get it because over-the-counter retinol ha needs to have a certain percentage where it can actually help your skin otherwise you're just kind of you know it's an unnecessary step it's like why are you even doing if it if the percentage is too less and I don't want to discredit anyone who has sensitive skin because I know they can't use a higher percentage so if you have super sensitive skin and you can't use like 2% um, over the counter retinol then go ahead and use like 1% or even like below 1% like the deconstruct skincare one is like 0.3% if you have super sensitive skin please get that something is better than nothing if you do have sensitive skin but I have more resilient tolerant skin so for me I'm like if I'm using a super low concentration I'm not gonna see any results that's just how my skin is and that's why my mentality is the way it is but um, yeah I decided to get this one um, on an impulse I thought you know I have a couple of options right now I have some adapalene gels I have one retinol serum already I also got a retinol moisturizer so I was like 
I don't know when I'm gonna get around to using this but my mom also uses retinol regularly which is great so I'm like if she goes through all her retinols I could give this to her or I could just use up whatever I have myself and then I could start using this as well so if you're interested let me know if you want me to try this out as well um, and if you don't want to then I could just give this to her and she could use this so um, yeah that's the retinol serum uh, moving on to the last few products that we have um, something that you should also know for sure that I definitely purchased is the Bo uh, plum body loving um, minion banana body wash I wanted to obviously get the body yogurt because if you guys don't know this I was a big 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 like body shop stan when it came to their banana body yogurts but of course that was something that came out like limited edition and eventually got discontinued i bought like backups even after the range was discontinued because i found some which were obviously original in like beauty supply stores but once that was out we were like completely out and i was definitely very very disappointed that i could not get any more but now that plum has come out with a banana body yogurt i'm gonna be all over it the only reason i did not buy it right now is because I already have a lot of Hawaiian Rumba body yogurts that I need to go through and once I do that um, I will definitely go and buy the banana ones as well but um, I was like I need to get something from this range I just need to get something so what should we get of course the body wash because um, like I said earlier I am definitely um, pretty low on my supply when it comes to body washes in my collection right now so I wanted to get the plum body washes any which ways um, and the uh, I wanted to actually originally get the Hawaiian Rumba refill packs I've been stalking the plum website for months you guys I even DM'd them and I asked them you know why are your refill pouches out of stock and they're like we're not able to get them in stock we're having some issues um, so it's gonna take a while and when they said it's gonna take a while I knew that it's no point like waiting around even though I don't like to get the smaller sizes I definitely like to get refill pouches because less waste more product price is also lower if you like see it like price per ounce and stuff but I was like take it they're not gonna be able to get it stock for a while I have to do something so might as well let me get these so I got this and then I also got one more very very exciting um, like product and it's actually a set and I wanted to save the best for the last which is why I did not show this to you up till now but I'm gonna do that so are you ready for it this is the cutest freaking package of course it's a lot of like unnecessary packaging and stuff but it's so 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 cute that I couldn't resist so I got this beautiful popcorn looking um, product combo set I'm gonna like do a nice unboxing and show it to you we have three products in here yeah can you see okay 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 whoa, 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 whoa. we're not gonna let anything fall today so I'm gonna just try and take this out It was definitely a lot more aesthetic looking inside the box. And I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit more aesthetic looking. Yeah. Does this look cute? So we have a candle. I was very skeptical on whether I should get this or not. Um, I was contemplating just getting the body wash because that's what I majorly wanted. Uh, but then I was like, um, let's get the hand cream. Not for me, obviously, for my mom. I'm not a hand cream person and I know that this is for sure going to go to her. I might occasionally use this once or twice, but not more than that. Um, the candle. Uh, again, I'm not a candle person, but this smells so beautiful that I might occasionally light this up. But I will say that it's a little too sweet for right now so maybe i might save this for the winter or i might light this right now again i'm not sure but yeah we have the candle and of course what i like originally got this range and this gift set is for the actual body wash again it smells beautiful delicious caramel goodness uh, but it's also a little too sweet it's not as sweet as vanilla vibes i think vanilla vibes is 
a totally different kind of sweet this is more like caramelly sweetness that is more like vanilla sugary gourmand this is also gourmand for sure but that's more vanilla this is more caramel but both of them are super duper sweet so again this one i don't know if i'm going to want to use it right now or maybe i'll save this for the winters um and we will dive into this one first for sure so um yeah that is pretty much everything that i got during the plum anniversary sale and of course i showed you the chemist they play goodies in the beginning of the video i know this video is super duper long but i really wanted to kind of talk through all these things share them with you and i'm just in a very very chatty mood today so that's why this video is so long i'm so so sorry if you guys got bored of it but uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching definitely let me know which products out of these you would like me to try out and review for you guys first because obviously i will consider that and i will you know plan the content accordingly as well so yeah let me know but that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye